Yeah, guys, talking about Apple, AAPL, Apple stock, 222, $222. Looking at the chart, I was looking at the chart and um, super high, super high again. Um, probably going to come down a lot in the next um next mini crash could come down a lot a lot more in the next uh, major crash so probably something you want to think about if you're holding apple stock or if you're considering buying apple stock because you could get a massive discount massive discount on the price for instance you know, in a major crash, it could come down to a hundred dollars. That gives you over fifty. You know, that, that gives you a massive discount, basically, half over half. <clears throat> in a major crash, there's a possibility it could go to a hundred dollars, if not lower. Um, in a ma you know post major crash. In um, in a mini crash, stock market correction, you could be looking at 130, 140. So still quite a sizable discount. But even even if it crashed down to 170, you know, it's um, basically a big discount. So what whatever, like. <clears throat> I mean, if you're in an index and Apple's, you know, part of the index you're in, then in one sense, it doesn't matter. You're in it now, but it does matter if you want to, you know, buy more of that index. You know, you might want to consider not buying more until after the crash, where well, crash will come. Or, you know, obviously, like, if you want to be invested, be invested. But you need to hold back cash for after the crash. You know, you need to hold back cash for post-crash to buy at a discount. You need to be buying at a discount, guys, to every time there's a crash, you need to be buying more. And obviously, when you buy more, you're getting a discount. If you're not buying more after a crash, when the prices has dropped, then all you're doing, you're buying when mostly when the price, when the price is high. Because if you, if you put money in regularly, every time you're buying, the market is mostly up. You know, because after a crash doesn't take that long really for stock markets to recover you know it could be a month could be six months could be a year you know after covid like most stocks recovered like you know two years two and a half years but that was kind of like prolonged a prolonged recovery but but in general like you know mini crashes mini corrections uh stock market corrections you'll find that they recover like you know it could be a week could be two weeks could be a month they recover quite quickly and you need to be ready with the cash to take advantage so apple like you know if you're buying individual stocks and apple's one of them or apple's the only one you need to get value you know to get value to get more shares for your money basically to get more stock for your money more apple stock for your for your dollar you know, or pounds, whatever currency you're buying in. You need to be buying when the price falls, basically. When the price drops, you need to be buying. That's the only way you're going to get value. Because, you know, unless you bought Apple donkeys years ago, when the price was next to nothing, and you've held all the way, all the way to now, you're not getting... You know, you're not getting value, basically. Or unless you bought five, six, seven, eight years ago when the price was a lot lower, you're not getting value now 
to get value you've got to buy post crash you'll you'll do you'll it's more profitable to hold cash in a bank or bank accounts you know gaining a small like um interest rate and then to buy after the crash buy the stocks cheaper and then when they go up you see how much you 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 know you've made then to buy now um and then it crashes and then it you know when you could have bought cheaper basically not to say it won't go up higher because that seems to be the trend it's forever going up but on that on that note like you can never know what, what what's going to happen to a company you can't say a company's there forever you know there's always the world changes tech changes everything changes there could be competition there could be a new there could be a new uh you know technology a new product a new company another apple with a different name a different different technology you don't know apple you know it might not be there forever so that's another thing to think about like where if you're you know just trading apple just investing in apple you might want to think about you know an index rather than um just apple or collection of um other stocks and it's dangerous to invest in just one stock even a collection of individual stocks is dangerous because especially in the same sector in the tech sector because you could be really really unlucky like your selection of stocks they could go you know pear-shaped and you're um you know what i mean like you could lose a lot of money basically you could lose 60 70 percent of your money so you want to think about maybe it's a better idea to invest in uh, an index that covers different sectors not just uh, tech etc so just think about the apple price at the moment look how super high it is and think about you know if you want to buy more when are you going to buy more are you going to buy more now are you going to buy more would you buy more on a regular basis or are you going to wait for a crash and then buy more and um maybe you know buy apple within a, a, a an index i don't know like but on the whole the price is super high and you've got to keep an eye on it because we're nearly at the end of you know coming towards the end of um 2024 there's only three and a half months left to the end of 2024 and um, you've got the US elections coming up, you know, before the end of the year. And that could possibly affect the stock market somewhat. Um, might see another correction. And also, you know, looking into 2025, you've got to think that a major crash, another major crash like COVID, not saying it's it's going to be like started you know because of covid because of a covid but whatever the reason the crash is going to come if not in 2025 it's going to come somewhere you know down the line 26 27 it's going to come like you know just be prepared for it that's what i'm saying like um so yeah guys like don't forget to subscribe and like the video and share share on other platforms like stock tweets stock tweets and um yahoo conversations guys and uh more videos to come